if you see a humongous publicized bet by a high worth individual and it's being talked about a lot through the news or in the media, do not follow that bet. I'm going to tell you why not to follow them. What happens when these high worth or gambling influencer type guys make that bet? And I'm also going to talk to you about who to follow instead. And, you know, why don't we want to follow these guys that are making some of these big bets? I'm going to give you an example of, of a name. Uh, you've seen Drake make some huge bets, million dollar bets. And I'm sure you've heard about him winning like a million dollars in a bet. Uh, maybe you've heard of a uh, million dollar Marco who makes big bets as well. And, you know, a lot, he has a lot of followers. Drake has a lot, a lot of influence. And, you know, when they make those kind of bets or like specifically million dollar Marco, he's in the sports gambling industry and he makes these big bets and it makes people think like, oh, if he's betting that big, this has got to be a winner because maybe that's how he made his money when in reality it's definitely not. Uh, what about Dave Portnoy? Uh, he can make some big bets. And if you don't know uh, his history, he's he's a losing gambler. And, you know, one thing about these guys and, and when they place these bets, you have to look deeper into who they are and why they're placing this bet. And um, the reality is like somebody like Dave Portnoy in his past He's probably had like, I think, bankruptcies and lost so much money in gambling. And uh, somebody like Drake, um, if you actually look at his history, you'll see that he's actually a losing gambler. Uh, what about Mattress Mac? Some people idolize Mattress Mac because he makes all these big bets. Um, and then also Million Dollar Marco. What do they all have in common? They're actually using the 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 big gambling ticket as a marketing play for mattress mac he uses it he gets all this publicity he gets people to buy his mattresses when he makes these big bets because it's like a hedge to his to his business um who else uh drake what what Drake is actually in, invested in stake.com and stake is all about sports is all about gambling. I don't think it's about sports gambling, but it's about gambling or, and you know, that it, when, when he talks about gambling, he can also be plugging stake. And I think he lost a lot of money, uh, showing his online playing on stake and what does that do? He doesn't care to lose the money. He's bringing in people in into his um, into that app or website that he's invested in. Um, what about uh, Million Dollar Marco? He's probably I'm not 100 percent sure, but you know one of his best friends is uh, one of the Paul Logan Paul Jake Paul or one of those guys, and he is that you know he runs or he in, he created better the the fantasy app and that's all about betting and so if marco is invested in that better app what he's trying to do is just gain more customers that are interested in that in that better app um who else portnoy he is uh he has barstool gaming so these guys are making these big bets that are trying to uh, gain uh, free publicity or just get people to see like, hey, look at me, I'm winning all this money on this app. You should come too because you could win all this money on this app. And in reality, that's definitely not the case, right? But they want to talk about all these big wins. And the reality is they're losing. And you know what happens when they place these bets? It could very well be that they're not actually paying for these losing bets. Like Drake, I'm sure, I think like if he plays at a casino, he definitely gets a rebate. Most people won't get that rebate. But let's say he plays on stake or whatever, you know, uh, making these big old bets. And if he gets the publicity about it, that's a that's like a partnership with the casino and you know depends on what they have but like 
Marco better, you know, that better app. If he bets on the better app, I'm definitely sure he doesn't have to pay for his losses. But, you know, it's crazy, right? They just, they may not even have to pay for their losing bets. So that's why they're able to do something like this. And, you know, it's a smart way for marketing for what they're building, like Mattress Mac. It's a smart way for him to hedge his his bet against his business, you know, so not trying to knock them for what they're doing. But as a sports gambler, you don't want to follow their bets because they have something else in mind that they're doing. And that is the 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 concept of uh, having that believing that they're going to win because they bet so much money on it. Oh, this is the whale play or this is where you got to put your money. You got to put your money with with the guys that bet so big on this because they know something not true. Definitely not true. They don't know. They don't know nothing about nothing. They know how to market what they're trying to do. That's what they know. So who do you follow? It's definitely not those guys. And the guys that you do follow are, you know, if they're putting up plays um, and they're not promoting um, like a gambling site, then they're more trustworthy uh, to, to follow their plays. And the reason why is if, if you're a gambler and you're promoting like my bookie or whatever, like all, or come sign up for DraftKings and use my code and here's my play today, like you're, th- those guys are not the guys you want to follow. Uh, who, who, do, uh, Ben Baller does this. He promoted my bookie and he's like, Oh, come, come also look at my plays, you know, like, no, do not follow their plays. And, you know, um, websites like my bookie or whatever, like FanDuel or DraftKings, they don't partner with actual winners, actual winning sports bettors. They don't partner with people that are teaching you how to actually beat them. Why would they do that? They partner with people who have good influence that can get people to go to their website and they don't teach how to win and they get people that are just normal sports bettors that are just interested in gambling and are not real winners. So then they allow them to promote uh, for that app because they're going to bring more people like them or if people follow their plays, they're going to be losers just like them. So do not follow gambling influencers if they're also promoting uh, a gambling website it just the the two just don't work together all right so my name is ken with better culture i appreciate you guys watching today please subscribe please watch these other videos and uh, i appreciate your time good luck in the books